In this video, I will show you the best free video editing software for YouTube. I have found this software very good and a lot of videos I have developed with the help of this. This is actually CapCut Video Editor. Let's move to the Google to explore its functions. In Google, write CapCut Download. You will reach at this slide. You have to click on CapCut All-in-One Video Editor. So once you will click on CapCut Video Editor, it will ask for login or registration information. You will do that. You will get two options. One option is to download the software in your computer. Another option is that you can do it online. For this video, we are going to use the desktop version of this software. Here are my other projects. So first of all, you have to click on the new project. But before that, you have to do little settings like click on settings, go to settings and follow these instructions like project. So this is the place position where would you like to save the videos? You can change from here. Then cache management. Uh, you can click on don't delete cache files or auto delete cache files after 30 days. Now the size is 136.86 MB. So with the passage of time when you will start working, it will increase. So this is up to you or up to your machine that uh, when would you like to delete the cache. Then come to edit. In edit, there is a free layer. You have to click on it. And uh, this is uh, image duration. Once you will uh, upload a video, so what time should be the minimum and then this is frame rate. I will go with the default setting, but I will click on free layer. It will help me to edit my video easily. Next one is performance here. These are the default setting, but once you will see it, you have to click on proxy. Proxy is for those computers who don't have the VGA cards or like that thing. So if you have a simple computer, then you must click on the proxy. It will give you more speed and performance. And then finally, language. Save this and now you will come to this point. Here I will click on new project and I will reach here. Now the question is from where you will get the video. You can use your mobile phone to record some videos or you can go to YouTube. From YouTube, you can develop a compilation of funny animals. Like uh, you can have this video, the dog, then cat, again dog, cat. So you can compile almost 10 videos by picking their best shots. And then you can come to CapCut for editing. So for today's video, I have already recorded or developed a video and that I will uh, edit in this software. I will import the video. Okay. After importing the video, I will drop it to timeline. Here is the timeline. So first I will do zoom in. Click here. Do good zoom in. So as to watch what's going on in different sections of the video. And if you move your cursor. So what is inside the video. And uh, uh, how it's looking. Whether it is okay or not. So this is preview command. It must be turned on. Okay. It is turned on because color is green. Then it comes to turn off linkages. If you turn off the linkages between the two parts, it will help. So all the options are on here. So this one is about auto snapping. Then this one is uh, turn off main track magnet. So all these options, if you will keep on, it will help you a lot. If you want to cut some portion of the video, it is very easy. Drag this line to the point from where you want to cut and then there is a split. Split it. It has been splitted into two parts. And uh, the next point is this one. I'll drag this line here and again I will split. So now my one video has been splitted into three parts. So this part I want to remove. Click on it and just delete it from your computer. Now that part has been deleted and removed from the video. So the next important and very interesting function of CapCut is overlay. For example, 
you are working uh, for the cat compilation and you need some other kind of picture which is more funny or more relevant to your subject you can go to google okay write funny cats go to images yes this is okay and i need this so i will save image in the computer which later on i will use in my video so i will go back to the cap cut import and this is the image what i have downloaded just now so i will drag that image here like at this point i will zoom out so as to get more understanding so i can drag this image the point what i want here you can increase or decrease the duration you are using this picture and you want to increase or decrease the scale so from here you can do that whatever you like you can adjust as per your requirement one uh, very cool feature of capcut especially for beginners that they can add animation in their videos and there are lots of options which can be used for animation so you can click on animation one thing remember that you have to download the animation first yes it's downloading this i have already downloaded then this one uh, then uh, this one these things i have used before otherwise you have to click for that so whatever you like you can use here animation is amazing and it can be used to create more attractive kind of display of your videos so this is in then out and then combo so there are three categories like combo you can see this oh very interesting very cool and you can use this or this if you want to use video then the best website is pexels come here right here pexels p e x e l s pexels click on it and you will find the website so right here funny cats enter so here you will see the photos then videos and i will go for videos it looks okay you can see others as well you will find a lot of variety here and you can download uh, as you want these are copyright free videos and you can use uh, easily and freely we can download this one we will click on import so i will go for this i will also drag this video here so what is the purpose of this picture and this video here you can see that the sound is of our original video but we have added the new picture and new video so it will sync with your video if there are sounds in uh, like in this video you can just go here and track must be muted then you can get your own voice in new portion of the video so if you want to mute the video and uh, go to audio and here you can increase or decrease the volume so you can set the level which is uh, attractive or which is required for your project so you can set like this also you can check that if i will increase you will find here the sound waves these sound waves are on higher side so once i will decrease this ratio you will find that it is showing just one line sound waves here now we want to add animation to this video clip so click on this uh, portion then go to animation and uh, if you want combo click on the combo uh, i can go for this one actually so you see or i can use this one it will give animation and which is very much cool now the next portion is how to add music in your video so if you want music just click on audio and uh, you will find music here like uh, pop or beats you can use any one of them and uh, if you feel that it's not working and there are some copyright issues then uh, you can change this so what i will do i will click on this video i will go to audio and i will reduce the voice okay now it is silent i'll select this one what i have downloaded this is the arrow it means you have to download click on plus it will automatically come down here you must be very much careful so there are different soundtracks which are copyrighted once you will use and you will find that there is a copyright issue 
so better to upload your own music which you can have from YT Studio. So what I will do, I will add my downloaded music. So I will go to media, import. So I have uh, different tracks which I use in my videos, music. I have already developed some album and uh, whatever I like, I pick that like this. I very much like. So that has been come down. So this was selected before, click on it, delete it and drag this one to this point and just reduce the duration mm, yes at this point i need play the video it's very soothing i can reduce the volume so i will reduce it and now i will play it it's working well we have done our basic editing and this uh, training is for uh, beginners actually and now you are able to edit or cut unnecessary portions you can add sound, you know how to add picture or video and what is transition. Now I will play the video. So finally, you can export your video. Click on export and uh, whatever is there, that is fine. Just click on export and you will get your video done. So rendering has been started. Thank you very much. Keep watching. Best of luck.